project here. We're gonna dig the trench. We can do sprinkler right now while renting this trench right here. So much rock down there, just definitely help a lot here. I'm moving all this rock out of the way, that way we're gonna hook it to the outlet right here. That's where our main line is gonna be. We are cutting pipes right now. We're getting 240 plus 80, 320 feet of pipe. And they're too long, so we're gonna cut it in half so we can put it on the back of the tundra. Here's that. We got all of them now. That 320 feet, right? Total. Yeah. A PVC pipe. So here go Rick, my brown law. He's been helping. He's leaving for now. But we just got the pipe. Got it. We're gonna put it back. Howdy, howdy. And we're gonna take this pipe to the side of the house and start laying them. We just loaded the pipes and all the sprinkler equipment here. Are we here? Notice the boat is going sideways <laughs> and the RV is right in front of the house. And whoa, look who's cooking as usual. Well, fresh, hello. Fresh, fresh. Come Making on. some fish, huh? Yeah. Uh, Thirty-two am. am. All right. Should keep making some good food while us guys here out here digging the sprinkler. So as you notice, the main line running to connect up here is where we're gonna hook up the water and all this pipe, 320 feet. Of PVC pipes that we just purchased had a whole bunch of stuff so we got from Springlow world and also all this Springlow here for the garden up there spigots well hello honey that's what we did yesterday digging all this trench Stuff. Okay. So Alright, we won't mix that up. Some tools, some cutters, PVC tool. pipe cutters, and then let's check out, we'll see what Bob is cooking up here. What you making out uh, door, honey? Chim trai chu am. Oh yeah, now that's... Chim trai chu am and chim trai chu am. Trai chu am, okay. Oh yeah, I always like chicken wings. It's delicious, honey. So anyway, that's a project for today. With Michael still here helping out until going back home tomorrow. And hey, Caden, say hello. Hello, guys. All right, that's my nephew here. They're going to go home tomorrow. Say hello, guys. Hello, YouTube guys. Hello. Say so please subscribe to uh, my please, uncle's YouTube channel. Please subscribe to, to Uncle Tola's YouTube channel because... It's really good and he makes good food. I don't make good food. Well, I do make some good food. Bopa makes good food, right? Mm -hmm. Do you like Bopa's food? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Nice. Okay. 
So what's your name? Here, let me interview you. What is your name? My name is Kaden. My no, last no, name no, is no, no, no. Michael Nelson. Oh, and how old are you, Kaden? Five. Five years old. All right. Okay, so Kaden's five years old. That's my nephew. Anyway. So. All right. Here's some food here, but I will go out and help Michael here, my brother, on this sprinkler so we can get it going. All right, so we're hooking up to the main pipe, right? Uh, we will be, I'm just putting a valve in so that we can uh, turn it on and off. Okay, so that's a primer. Yeah, this is a primer. Okay. So it doesn't actually stick anything together. It just helps get everything so that it does stick. And this is the glue itself, right? Yep. And that, once you put it on, you only have like a minute and 30 seconds or so. This glue, yeah, you it's know. very fast. Okay, cool. That's how you do it. It's like Lego. Outside the front gate. So that way we have our own control valve, right? For water. Yeah, just, just so that we can uh, turn on and off the water to the sprinklers in the back. Mm -hmm. Big rock here to cover this waterway. And our goal is to have our own valve right here, a shutoff valve, if we need to, and that's where we'll start. Chairman okay. here, we don't know where exactly what this pipe is. We're hoping it's one of the sprinkler water main one here. So uh, Michael's gonna cut that. If it starts, we already turn off the sprinkler water here. But if water start spurt, spurking, if water start coming out, I'm gonna have to turn off the house main water up here, which I'm preparing right now while Michael is getting that ready. See that? I got my ranch in there. I'm ready to turn it that. I'm good. How's that going? I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. I'm ready. All right. So Michael just put this valve system together here. It's kind of like Legos. I mean, we had to buy all different pieces to build this system yep so you got the pressure regulators for the drip systems you got filters make sure you're not getting any crap in the systems you got the valves for each one and then you just hook your pipes to the sides so okay the nice thing about this system is these connections make it so that if your valve goes bad you can actually just undo the connection on each side and take the valve out without messing with the rest of the system so makes it easy okay so good job putting the whole piece together we're gonna dig right here this is where the box is gonna go so far look at that we had it run from all the way from the front of the house and all the way back here as you notice more trees are being planted so this is the, uh, we already dig all that last night. Go all the way around. Step by step, we will make this. All right, so what we're doing next is running the wire, right? Yeah, running on the wire over to the valve box. We've got our camera yes. there. It's Wi-Fi, so we can control it with our cell phones. Yes. Six station, we've only got four. But if we ever want to add anything in the future, we have the ability, so. Mm -hmm. Right here, I'm stepping on it while Michael is extending all the way to the, where the box is going to be here, which is down there. All right, so this is a family yard work, so we got a whole crew here. So, um, Chantra, as usual, she likes to lay down and help. That's her osmosis. Yeah, that's how no. I help. This is my oldest sister house over there. She's been cooking, just took a walk. And hiking. And hiking. And me, Michael, and uh, Rick, we've been doing some yard work and we're still doing yard work. We are laying PVC pipes um, for the sprinkler. So that's where all the grass is going to go right there. That is what we are doing. Family involved. Look at that. 
like I say, this Mars, we're turning to planet Earth here. Give me a few weeks, all right? <laughs> and as you can see, the cement that we did earlier today, expanding the cement. Woo! All right. So, is that nice cement there, guys, that we did today? Look at that beautiful, huh? And the one on the end right here. Now, that's good. So, just give an overview of what our yard is still look like at this time. So, I had to push this trailer back here a little bit. Looks like the cement is dry from this morning. I can walk on it now. So yes, we do have a long way to go. I can actually build like a seat top back here in this corner. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't rent it out, huh? We have to push our RV to the side here just to uh, make room. So I just move. I was going to move this tree in the rose bush so that I can put my boat to this side of the driveway. So we do have a big project going on, guys. Yes. All right, let me turn this water and start helping Michael out here. Hey, what are you running? No leak right now. Okay. All right, like that. even my mom is right. here to help to do my garden. And she's visiting, she's going back home tomorrow. So, All right, well, it's nighttime and we are still trying to put the sprinkler system together. This Lego set. How about that? Yeah, that's a little complicated. Michael been building this here piece by piece. And I can go here and there's Rick on the other side there. Alright, so this what is Michael put together. This Lego. I guess they come separately in the you can buy a whole set, but if one valve broken, you have to replace the whole thing. But if you do it yourself, you can replace individual. You know? Preston, you're on YouTube. Say hello, Preston. You're on <laughs> the Bopa Jonathan YouTube show here. That work. Okay, we got Preston there helping. We're doing a spigot right now, right? Prime the inside of that already. Yeah. Good boy. Thank you. Oh, All right. My flashlight. This a few times. Easy. Ooh. Very nice. This is priming this is. and then put the glue. There we go. Got it. Very nice. Yep. Okay, and then we're going to put this on. So the big ones are glue? Hmm. All right. Glue is glue. And glue, glue, glue. Once you put it on, you only have like a minute. Kaboom, it will stick. Drink. <laughs> Possibly. There we go. Screw in that spigot. Guys, are the valves off? All the valves are off. So, Hallelujah! Here we go. All right. Now that's called teamwork, guys. I got my my nephew and two of my brother-in-law here helping out. We're on here. No explosion. Pressurize. Um, water is on. No, the valves are on. Okay. Go turn on that spigot over there. Let's turn this spigot. Okay. Oh, here comes the water. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. That one works. Sweet. 
Let all the brown water come out when you're done. Water coming out. Very nice. Yep, we're good. Testing water. That's where the spring river valve's gonna go. Nice. We are testing. Testing oh, one, two, three. Thing with this one. Okay, testing this side here right now. Here good. we go. Good. Good. And let's see. Right there. Okay, that's coming out. Very nice. And water, water. One. Right here. There. Okay. And then one yep. on the end. Hold on, gotta check the one on the end. There you go. Spit on it. Slide that on. Yeah. Well, yeah. Slide it onto the tube. Yep. Slide it on. Ooh, let's see here. Want to spit on it? And then slide that on it. So thread that into the pipe and then slide it on. Oh, that's threaded? Okay. Yes. Threaded in there. First yeah, one. Threaded. Preston's doing the first one. Here we go. In zone one here. Testing, testing. In the dark. Oh, yeah. Right to the window. Perfect. <laughs> we are testing here. Nice. Look at that. Oh, right to the box. <laughs> All right. So we're hooking up the box, right? This is the uh, controller box. Yep. Is that what you call it? It's, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we went and got this one here because Wi-Fi. Hook it to the phone. We actually got a different brand because the one we was going to buy is the Rainbird one. You have to pay an extra ninety dollars to get this modular. To which make you, it Wi-Fi. Yeah. So this one you don't have to. You got this from Home Depot. You get that low too, and it's a better price. And the brand name of this one, what do you call this one? Orbit. Orbit. Yes. So Michael is just hooking that up right now. Um, as you can see, it runs the wire right here, and that's the beginning of the sprinkler here. Let me just take you from the beginning right here that's where everything hooked up on to it goes this way the main line and the controller box because we have an outlet here which Michael is putting on right now um, so the wire will run all the way here we can do another T section to here and I can have another garden bed over here anyway to continue here we'll have the main control all right here Michael put all that together in there and then from here on we go over here last night we test the water we'll make sure everything running good now we can adjust the sprinkler so we got Rick my other brown law there helping out appreciate that going all the way out here all the way there and all the way here and we will continue all the dribbling and stuff for all the out of trees and a garden bed in that corner too anyway there's our cement i know we have multiple project going on and then we start over here because all the grass is going to be all around this area and then we have to hook up to all the trees so that's it so we're digging where the sprinkler head gonna go there's a big boulder right there that i have to dig through so this is update so far uh, we're measuring where the head gonna go. I just dig that one right there in that corner. We don't want to touch the We don't want to sprinkler hit this post So we're doing and then Michael here is connecting All the wiring So what are you doing here? Tell us a little bit about it. Just hooking up the, the valves now. There's uh, The sprinkler box has one common so you hook all of the one wires to a common ground and then all the other wires to their individual um, wires and then when you turn on the system it will run each valve individually and it's getting wired up so we can make sure all these valves work correctly so we got four station is that what we call it? station or uh, yeah four station okay yeah and he michael put all this together from scratch here connected like lego style here so good job that's on that, it. man. That's about it. Legos. Yes. Awesome. Okay. 
And then we got Rick over there trying to dig that out of sight. And I'm going to continue finish that ahead right there. This one here, try to remove this boulder from here. So that way we can push the head to that side. And then we got the last one over there. That looking good. Michael had to custom make some extra hole on this box here, right? Yep, just to make sure it fit flat to the ground. It's all wired up? If it's all wired up, uh -huh. we're good to go. I've got, we got to run all the drip lines everywhere. Okay. So we're going to start doing that now. Yeah, all the drip line for the garden bed and all the trees around it, all the way around. And I could do not a garden bed right in this corner right here too. So lots of work to do here. Oh, elbow here. Where did you get Elbows this from? Was that from um, These are from... The Sprinkle, Sprinkle World. World. They don't okay. have them at Home right. Depot or at Lowe's. I look for both. All right. So I have some other ones that will work, but they're harder to use. So okay. this kind is the good one because they've got, uh, they just plug in and then you don't have to worry about them. The other one you have to sit there and screw on them. Okay. So run the line here. Okay. All right. So we're running. That's for all my orchard tree right here. We're going to run the brown line here. This is for the drip line. So we got three of these here. I have to snap on without any glue. Just push right in. Makes yeah. it easy. Yeah, this tee is really nice. You don't need glue or tape or anything at all. It just snaps right on. So my garden bed can be right from here to here. Okay, to use these, there's teeth inside. So mm -hmm. what they do, they actually grab the hose so that it doesn't or grab the fitting. So when you slide it on, it's solid. You gotta squeeze this. Okay. And then it comes right off. When you squeeze it, it actually covers those teeth up. Nice. So that's how those work. Cool. So they're just a, a quick lock is what they're called. So. So push it down and you have to screw so it. So you push it on like this and then you screw this down okay. and that creates the seal. Nice. So it works, just not as easy as the other stuff. So. Okay, so we got one that's going to go that way. It's going to be on the right side of your spigot. Okay. You're facing the spigot, so it's going to be on the right side. You just and go it's going to go down along your fence line. Uh -huh. And then that same one is going to go follow your pipes and then work its way over that way and then okay. down that tree line. All right, so it's gonna have two of them running that way, all right. Yeah. yeah, we run into a problem here. We try to get the, the controller going with the remote and all of a sudden, kaboom, this pipe came apart. And now there's water, <laughs> look at that. Just trying to error. So I just have to turn off this valve right here for this emergency valve that we installed yesterday. So, there's always an issue here and there when you do it yourself, but that's where the adventure is, right? Anyway, look at that water flowing. Oh my gosh. So the first problem we had here was around this electrical, trying to do it Wi-Fi from my phone. It's not working, so Michael will hook up a different type of wire, I guess. He didn't seal the white wire in there. Now he did it. All of a sudden this water line break, and look at that. Wow, pretty cool. So anyway, okay. Well, at least we found some what cost it. Very nice. And now I was just sealing this up. <clears throat> this is the brain of it right here. Look at that. We're bearing all of the trenches now while trying to and we're just testing the spring to make sure it's all good here before we finalize this up and this other tube we're running this is for the trees bring behind it and we ran out so it ends over here but we have to keep it going to the end of the fence over there so anyway 
this is where we are at. I already bury one side. Gonna bury the rest here once everything. Sorry, bury from here to here already. All right, we're gonna redo this section here. So twist, take that off from here. Okay. Just twist it one turn. Bring this back down. All right, so here it is. It leaked, and it seemed to be okay now. I just put the cap back on, and I'm gonna bury all the pipe here. I'm just waiting for all the water to dry up. This is gonna be a dripping here for my little orchard. I'm gonna plant a few trees here. I already got one, first one here. And let me take you through here. There's the rain orbit electrical output. You can we'll close that. Seems like it's working fine now. So we're gonna bury all this. You notice the gutter has the hose coming out. We put everything underneath it. And we made a T over here. Go over there and we could do a garden part up here on um, this area. And we'll continue. So here's the box. This is the brain. I'm going to wait for that to dry up a little bit here and uh, I'm going to hook all this little stuff here to uh, the gardening here. I'm going gonna, gonna to have to dig maybe a hole right there, put it through and then run this tube out there and then we'll branch it out here for the garden. So we'll continue here. You notice it has the triplet, the hose go there and that's for all the trees and the bushes all up there. And then the sprinkler. PVC here comes all the way here. We buried some of it already. And here's the first springer, sprinkler head. And it goes to here. I already buried these. There's another sprinkler head. Um, we already buried it so the sprinkler runs that way. And then the uh, for the trees and the shrub here, the driplet. And I'm going to connect all that. So that comes. Not a sprinkler. I can even that out and make it flush against the ground. And then the sprinkler right here. And this tube will pull it out here a little bit and then I'll get an extension and uh, water that tree there too. So to continue back over here. Yes, yeah, so we'll have this sprinkler running parallel to the wall. You notice we already buried that. Here's now the sprinkler right here. I gotta make sure it's all even out and then I'll cover it with dirt. And this extension, these holes here are gonna go to the tree. And we can have some shrub bushes here. Another one out to here. Here's now the sprinkler. We bury all that. I will still have to extend all these. For the trees another sprinkler right here and one last one right here and spigot we have this one here and we have another one way over there because when i built the home here i didn't have any in this side i only have one in the back right here and one opposite so it's nice that we're doing two spigot just in case we need some extra water here and we're gonna run this tube. It looks like I'm gonna need to do an extension because we ran out. I'm gonna need to buy another one, run all the way over there. So, my brown law Michael already went home, and uh, Rick Talbot too, he already went home too. So, it's just me by myself. Looks like just an hour ago, I was spraying out the cement, spraying all the water out, and so on, the dirt. And so, can't wait till we finish this cement here so I can park this RV back here so we can do another 10 by 10 here 10 by 10 here 10 by 10 here there 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 so definitely more work to do 
even though we have this very long driveway here we will still need more room just nice definitely need more room all right I have enough room to pull out the two extension out here that shouldn't be a problem and then the front yard wise grass is getting green now I like in the way this palm tree looks have this one right here but the two that I moved hopefully it will survive look at that enough room for the boat so that's a 10 by 10 gate and this is where it all starts okay beautiful sunset